This video is brought to you by the EA Game Changers program. Thank you, EA, for providing travel to this event. Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelade here and welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Matt, also known as Pixelade, and I make Sims videos right here on YouTube. This video is going to be a quick rundown of some of the build mode features. The last two videos were the create a sim rundown and the buy mode rundown. This one's going to be for the build mode features. It won't be too long. There were some new features added, but of course there weren't as many as I would have liked. While watching this footage back, I did realize that I completely forgot to look in windows. So I don't know if any windows were added with get famous, but I seriously hope that we did get something. I was running down to the very end of my capture time and I was trying to rush to get this last part done so I apologize if I didn't click on every single thing but I should have gotten probably 95% of the build mode features. I am going to keep things completely honest with you guys. As happy as I am with all of the creative sim assets that were added and all of the buy mode assets, I feel like build mode really lacked. I feel like there could have been a lot more that was added into the game. I did see we got two brand new staircases, two railings, I believe four brand new doors, a crap ton of AC vents, and that was pretty much it. Nonetheless, I'm still very happy with everything that we've gotten in the game so far. I didn't really get to dive too far into gameplay, I lost a lot of my footage, and I spent most of my time waiting for my sim's audition to get here, and as soon as it did, my sim didn't even go to her audition, because for some reason there was a glitch, and she completely skipped it, it didn't even pop up. So, I was kind of upset about that, and I hope that those glitches are fixed by the time the game releases. I will say though, I'm very very pleased with the amount of flooring that we get in this. Towards the end of the video, you're going to see me start placing down tons and tons of flooring. The amount of flooring and the amount of color and pattern variations that we got with the flooring is just phenomenal. Like it honestly makes up for the lack of build mode features. If it wasn't for terrain manipulation, I would be pretty bummed about the lack of build mode features, but because we can manipulate the terrain, make mountains, build houses on hills, and all that awesome stuff, I'm kind of okay with it, you know, honestly, even though we might not get as many doors as we hoped, or not too many foundation patterns. As long as I can build my Beverly Hills mansion on a nice giant hill in Beverly Hills, then I'm totally cool with that. In Del Sol Valley, Beverly Hills is technically the pinnacle but same thing, same difference. I see it as the same exact thing. So hopefully the excess of buy mode objects totally lets you forget about the incomplete build mode catalog. So let me know what you guys think. Leave all of your comments down in the comment section below. Are you happy with what we've gotten in build mode? Are you not happy? Is there anything you felt like was missing? Leave all of your comments and questions down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Subscribe to become a pixelator today and ding the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of any future upload. Don't forget to follow me on social media. That includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Google+, Twitch, and much more. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thanks for watching and I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye everyone.